Hey there! So imagine you're chatting with a computer program that can understand and respond to what you're saying, just like a real person. That's what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is an advanced computer program created by OpenAI. It has been trained using a lot of text from the internet, like articles, books, and conversations. This training helps ChatGPT to learn about different topics and understand human language. When you chat with ChatGPT, you can ask it questions, have conversations, or get information on various subjects. It uses its training to generate responses based on what it has learned. It tries to understand what you're asking and provides helpful answers or suggestions. Now, ChatGPT isn't a real person. It's just a program running on a computer. But it's designed to make the conversation feel more like talking to a human. It's important to remember that while ChatGPT is really good at understanding and generating responses, it doesn't have real emotions or personal experiences like we humans do. Overall, ChatGPT is a super smart language model that you can interact with, ask questions, and have conversations with, just like you would with another person. It's pretty cool. How to train a model such as ChatGPT In the first step, Human AI trainers engage in conversations and act as both the user and the AI assistant. The trainers provide examples of conversations where they play both roles. They have access to model written suggestions to help them compose responses. These trainer conversations are then mixed with the Instruct GPT dataset, transformed into a dialogue format. This combined dataset is used to train a supervised model. It's called supervised because the AI trainer's responses serve as the target or correct answers for the model to learn from. The model learns to predict the next trainer message given the conversation history. This initial model is known as the supervised policy. A prompt can be queried and in this case we have an example explain reinforcement learning to me as a six years old. A human labeler is then asked to demonstrate the desired output. This provides the ground truth answers necessarily for the model to learn. In this case, a human could provide an answer like we give treats and punishment to teach somebody something. This process creates question-answer pair. In the second step, the supervised policy from step one is used to interact with AI trainers, who now have access to model written suggestions. The AI trainers provide alternative completions to the model's suggestions and rank them in terms of quality. This process generates comparison data that consists of conversations where the model's suggestions are ranked. The model uses this data to learn a reward model. The reward model helps the model understand which responses are considered better or worse by comparing them to the alternatives provided by the trainers. Whatever answer the model produces from the step one, we investigate the answer. For example, perhaps there are four answers being produced from the first step. In this case, we can ask the human labelers to rank the answers from top to the bottom. This provides another round of instruction for the answers produced by ChatGPT. In this final step, a process called Proximal Policy Optimization PPO, is used. PPO is a reinforcement learning algorithm that aims to improve the model's policy based on the reward model created in step 2. The model is fine-tuned using the reward model to optimize its responses. The PPO algorithm guides the model to adjust its behavior and generate responses that are more likely to receive positive rankings according to the reward model. This process is repeated several times to further refine and improve the model. As a summary, to train ChatGPT, a three-step process called Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback RLHF, is used. It starts by collecting demonstration data to create a supervised policy, then proceeds to collect comparison data to train a reward model. Finally, the policy is optimized using the Proximal Policy Optimization PPO, algorithm, refining the model's ability to generate better responses based on human feedback.